and welcome back to another video. So there's been an update for the Uncrafter. So we're going to take a look at that today. Apparently like over 400 blocks have been added. Like this was updated not yesterday but the day before. But by the time I was made aware of, that, of it being updated I had already like recorded and uploaded the video. Uh, so I was going to record it yesterday but then yesterday I had a Head, like really bad headache all day so I uh, could really record anything so I'm co-recording it today so, yeah let's get into it when the world loads up let me just let me get a couple of pops okay let's just set this steering at me anyway uh, what's my inventory looking like? You're just gonna put the armor on. Oh, there we go. Right, so the uncrafted it's. Four cobblestone. And you make the uncrafter. And let's just put it on top of there. So all, so we still got... Oh, you can now craft the bowel into seven planks. Boats into planks. A pressure place into planks. Stairs, buttons, slabs. Oh, so you can, so you can de-age copper. I mean, you could also just, oh, I guess that's just easier than placing it down than right-clicking with an axe. And also, if you do it this way, you can keep the, uh, the wax on it. And you can get, uh, regular glass out from stained glass and then panes to the box. Yeah. The mosaic, ah, the mosaic, the cut copper, and bat composter, and grindstone. That's new. Armor stand, you get a slat. Uh, you can get the. Yeah. See, so yeah, you can craft them back into that. I don't know why. You... No, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm just start trying to find out what's new. Hmm. Yeah. So you can get chisel quartz and make it to block quartz. You can get smooth quartz stairs and make that into chisel quartz. I don't think that's how that works. I think that's smooth quartz. I don't know. You got white. You can get free white wool from a white bed. And you can do that with all the beds. And you got concrete back into concrete powder. That, I think that's old and I still don't know why you'd want to do that unless like you need the powder for like texturing or something. You can cra Okay, that's uh, infinite loop there because uh, one brick for one block of clay. You get four clay balls out of a clay block and you get and you can cook them into like one brick, so you can basically have an infinite loop of clay here. And you can turn that clay into terracotta. You can also like uh, undye them basically. Get and then you can uncraft the red the glaze into regular. You got mud bricks into mud, and you got yeah the wall. Then you got uh, you can. We make strips logs into regular logs. Yeah, you get for the oak sign in, you get some stripped oak logs. Now, uh, something I forgot to mention here real quick, uh, is that, uh, is that the devs met, uh, messaged me telling me that it was updated and they said they could not figure out how to give this, make this give you multiple items, so otherwise they'd give you some iron nuggets along with this. Um, and they don't know how to make it take in, take tool durability into account. 
So you can get the carrot out from the uh, carrot on the stick. You can get. Why would you need to do that? You can just craft it in your inventory. Uh, four bamboo planks into one bamboo. That should be two planks to one bamboo block. That's one bam one block of bamboo gives you two planks. I'll approve this. Uh, right now, when I find ah, here we go. Yeah, so I have one block of bamboo. It gives you two planks. So that should be changed to only need two planks or give you two blocks of bamboo. Uh, insect, you can get the insect from the item frame. That's uh, You get a free honeycomb from the beehive if you need more honeycomb. Don't know why you need to do that because again you can just craft block back into that. Yeah, you can get the only one bamboo. For the scaffold, and how much scaffolding do you get? Yes, you do get it. I do. I do think you get a bunch of scaffolding, so I guess that's probably right. And you can get moss out of the mossy cobble. You can get tough out of rain, plus tough, tough there. You can get. You can get the water fungus from there. You can get again. Why would you need this? You can already uncraft that all not normally. Uh, obsidian, you can get obsidian back from enchanting tables, you can get the crayon obsidian back from the respawn anchor. You get the soul sand from the campfire, soul campfire, but that's now You can get dry, yeah, again, you can just do this normally. Uh, you can get three sticks from a bow, you can get the soul torch from the soul lantern. You, get, you can undye candles, you can get the furnace out of a smoker. You can get the uh, a bookshelf out of a lectern. You can get the glue stone out of that. Uh, oh, that actually that's that, okay. That's a useful one because that basically means that one stack of honey blocks is essentially is essentially nine uh, is essentially four stacks of food. So you can put like a bunch of honey blocks into a shulker box and then uh, with a uncrafter and then when you uh, and then you can use this for food, and then when you need more food, you can just uncraft. So that's actually pretty useful. Yeah, four torches for one coal. In case you made too many torches and you need more coal, you can get a diamond out of a diamond hoe. I eight iron nuggets out of a lantern. You can uncraft a copper block into copper ingots for some reason. You get one ink iron ingot back from your shears. You can get the two netherite scraps from a netherite axe. That doesn't really make much sense because you don't use scraps to make the... Well, you use one ingot. And the, the one ingot uses four scraps, so it is half of the scraps back. Uh, you can get golden nuggets from the golden carrots. You get a gold ingot from a bell, but even though you can't craft bells. And the only way to get bells is from trading with villagers or just looting them from the villagers themselves. Again, why would you need that? Uh, getting the Nether Quartz back from Redstone Comparator, not that great. You can get bricks back from the flower, flower pot. Uh, you can get four Nether Bricks from a Nether Brick block. Get the Prismarine out of a dark Prismarine. I'd rather get the Ink Sack back, to be fair, to be honest, because if you have a Prismarine farm, then you can easily get more Prismarine Shards, but, uh, uh, with the, with the, with the, uh, in, you know, ink farms are a lot more difficult, so I don't know. Get the amethyst shard out of a spyglass. You can get prismarine crystals from the sea lantern. Get armadillo's cute from the wool farmer. String from a fishing rod. Flint from arrows. I don't know why you do want to do. I guess if you have like a if you have like a skeleton farm and you need flint for whatever reason. Uh, you can get the gunpowder back from a firework rocket. I don't know how useful that would be. Actually, that's an infinite source of gunpowder because it only t takes one gunpowder and one paper to make three rockets. So for each gunpowder you gain back from here, you could make three more rockets if you have the paper, and paper's not too difficult to get. Uh, you can get a lever back from books, 
which yeah, it's only uses one of them. I think you can get blaze rods from brewing stand, breeze rods from them. I'd rather get the heavy coal from the mason breeze rods. Get nine echo shards from a recovery compass. You can get a sh two shulker shells from a shulker box. I don't know why you want to do that. You can get a slime ball from leads. That's useful because if you don't have a slime farm and you have some leads lying around from like wandering traders that spawn. Get the, I don't know why you'd want eye of enders from ender chest. Like maybe getting the obsidian would be more useful, but I don't know. I don't really think so. You get the never star from a beacon. You can get the pick two people from a cartography table. Get a book, three books from bookshelves. Uh, you could just break the bookshelf to do that. Tip, mind you, if you have a silk touch axe, and you can't really. Dust from torch, two torches from a repeater. TNT from TNT minecart. I mean, yeah, you can't really uncraft them, so that's fair. And you get chain from chain mail. Pooch. Can you not get chain from the other armor? Hold on, so let me get. Give. At P chain. So, chest plate. Can I uncraft? The, yeah, you can uncraft the chest. So, uh, that probably, uh, so this probably applies to all of the different armor variants and probably all the different tool variants as well. So, for that, so if I give myself a Neverite pickaxe, let's try that. Yeah. At P never right. Uh, 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 let's do bit. Can you do a boots? Uh, yeah, you can. You only get one though. So you can probably do this with like all the different, uh, all of the different, uh, what you call it. All the different like tools and armor. So let's try diamond. Give at P diamond. Alex, and let's try iron. Iron. And gold. N. Yeah, you can do with all the different acts. So yeah, this applies to all the different tools, weapons, and armor. Uh, well, should I? T could I test real quick? Um, hold on. I, I, there was one for the smoker, but it, if I give at the blast furnace, can I uncraft the blast furnace? Yeah, and you get five iron ingots out of it. Yeah, so what the... I don't know why, like, all of these stained glasses have their own one. Yeah, all, like, the... All, like, the, uh... Tool, no, all, so, like, all the, like, um... Axes, pickaxes, and all that are all, like, compressed into one. All these shulker shells, like maybe it's something to do with item IDs and the, as well as like the smoker and the blast fairness. Well, yeah, like I said, it's probably something to do with the item IDs and how that all works, maybe. Also, how do you. I want to double check. How do you craft the hump? The recovery. Yeah, it's eight echo shards, and in here, it's. You get nine, so you actually you're actually getting infinite echo shards from that. Uh, plus one echo shards each time for the cost of four iron and one redstone dust. Which, yeah, I'd rather do that than go if I needed if I needed more of them than go to a uh, what you call it a uh, a nation city. <laughs> now I do have to mention something about this, which. Uh, about another add-on that I have to read, I I have to compare this to another add-on that I have also done the review on, the Alchemy add-on. Uh, and it's over here, I have already have it in. 
So basically with the alchemy add-on, it adds an essence value to each individual item. Well, not every item in the entire game. Some items can't get, be given a value and some items can't be given individual values. There are some quirks to it. Well, that's basically how it works. And it, uh, basically you put it, you put the item in there. It get com it's get it gets converted to the item, and then a, an item that you have in the center here will then come out the other end if you have enough if you put enough of items with that value. Now this essentially works as an uncrafter, basically, because um, if you if you get yourself one of these and you put a uh, if you put a bow in here and you put sticks there, you get three sticks out of it, and if you put free string there, you also get free string out of it. Uh, you'll probably get more than three sticks and stick string is probably worth more than sticks or something like that, but it, it essentially works the same. And it, uh, while it is more is more manual, it is essentially one to one. But there is a couple of differences that, me that I have to mention yet, real quick, is that the uh, alchemy station is far more expensive. While, while this only requires like four cobblestone and stuff. The alchemy station requires a bunch of stuff. It requires uh, uh, the the resolver, the platforms, the combiner, and two pipes, which require like iron, di a diamond, and like um, amethyst crystals and all that. So it is a lot more expensive. So it is basically an upgraded version. So so I uh, and the others. There was something else I want to mention. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, this does take item durability into account. So, uh, if you put a diamond sword in there, but the diamond sword is like nearly broken, even though it doesn't change the uh, essence value that is presented to you, it does change the essence value once it is converted into essence. Um, the reason why it doesn't change the value here when you hover over it is because that would cause too much lag if you like. If you have like a diamond shovel and you just like speed mining your way through a bunch of sand, and then that, and like if it was updating every time the durability was reduced, then it would cause a bunch of lag. So yeah, that uh, that would be a problem. So I, so honestly, I think these two can sort of like coexist. So basically, you'd use the uncrafter in the early game to basically just like uncraft some stuff. Uh, uh, that you don't need, and then in the later game when you've got diamonds and access to amethyst, you would uh, use the alchemy station. But there's also still some use cases late game for the young crafter, and uh, that is uh, with again with the golden tools because this does not take uh, uh, durability into account. Uh, if I just like give at p gold n sword. If, so this golden sword, no matter its durability, it will always give you one gold ingot. Now, if you have a gold farm, you are going to be getting a lot of low durability golden swords. And basically, um, if you want to get the full value for them, uh, you'd have to craft them all up together to get them back to full durability, then put them into here. Where with this, you don't really need to do that, because even though, like, um, so... Uh, if you, you know you you can like uh, repair so you know items by just putting them in your craft inventory, inventory in bedrock edition. You can't do this in Java edition, um, and it does give you more durability than just add just adding them together. It gives you I can't remember the exact percentage, but it gives you a bonus percentage of durability. But this still means you are going to be using at least two gold at least two gold swords to get two gold ingots. Where so it is essential. So even then, at at best, you're gonna be getting the same exchange rate as just putting the broken gold swords into here, getting the gold ingot out, and you still and you're still gonna be getting about the same amount of essence value anyway. So uh, with that, you might as well do that. Hold on, there's one more thing I want to check. Uh, I very much doubt that you can do this, but I might as well just check this just to make sure. But can you hopper in and out of it? Uh, let's get a couple hoppers. So, hopper on top. 
up on the bottom, if I give myself a gold sword, and I put the gold sword on the top, it does not go in. So you cannot automate this, uh, which it is the same for the alchemy station. You this has to be all be done or to, uh, has to all be done manually. So maybe something they could do in the future is make it so you can uh, automate it somehow. Give it a bit, a little bit of a more of a advantage compared to the alchemy station. I maybe have it so that you know, put a bit of redstone in it and stuff. You make the automatic on crafter. Um, just like the, oh, just like the crafter. You, you, I do not like the jetpack on this. Uh, but make the automatic on crafter. Crafter, then you can, uh, like hop over a bunch of like swords into it and then have, have them just be automatically crafted into gold ingots and then have them, you know, be put into a chest and then you know, just make it a bit more smooth uh, uh, way to get the gold ingots out of the damaged swords or something. Uh, but yeah, that was another reason why I did want to, uh, I did uh, suggest, you know, ask if they could make it so that it changed the output based on durability. And I've got inventory lag, great. Hold on, if I put this down, it'll, there we go. Inventory lag is a weird book. Can you uncraft hoppers? You can, you get the iron ingots out of them. And also that is something else the uh, alchemy station has over the uncrafter is that uh, the alchemy station, uh, like I said, it can give you multiple items. It gives you like the full value of the of all the items that, you, that went into crafting it, where you only get some of the items back out of the uncrafter. So I do think that they're, they're both quite balance and we're quite, you know, we're quite good at, uh, simultaneously. Also, this, uh, uh, also would be, if you want to get glass out, if you just want to, like, undow your glass, this will be easier. Would be, it would be, you'd be better off using the Uncrafter than the, the Alchemy Station. Because you might, so like here, I have, like, leftover essence in the Alchemy Station. So if I put glass in there now, it's just going to spare out a bunch of glass. But if I want to, if I just want to, Turn my stained glass into unstained glass. I would just put it in here. And I don't know. Does stained glass have a, 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 an added value? Give at p blue glass. At glass. So blue. So blue stained glass. So that has an essence value of 13. Five. So yeah, it does have an increased essence value. So that so you may want to take that into consideration as well, but uh you're not really Losing a lot just doing that. And just getting yourself some glass. On ski on dying English. See So yeah, pretty good update and uh, and it did like increase the amount of items you can can uncraft a lot. But there are a couple of uh, recipes I noticed that has still there are some questionable ones like again just being able to uncraft like copper blocks into copper ingots which you can already do like why would you want to do why would they add that I do not know but there are some miss notable ones that are missing so there's the uh, there's the never wart block you can craft it with nine never wards but you can't uncraft it like this seems like a, the ideal way uh, like and uh, like, why the ideal like crafting recipe for that like why did they not add that uh and the i don't know i don't think they should do it for like the warped one like just for the regular warped, warped block the warped warped block seems like it would give you some 
different, but well, that's not really a thing in the game, you because you can't craft. I guess you could make it give you the, uh, the warped, uh, warp, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the warped fungus instead of never wart. Now, can you craft warped warped? What? Uh, not, no, not by the looks of it. You cannot craft it. No, nope. okay. So yeah, but that's something they could do. So yeah, there are some, still some that they could add in that I think would be cool. Let me just go into game mode one real quick. Game mode one. Well, let's just have a quick look. What else could they add? Uh, I don't think they can add the fences because there's like a thing with the item ID or something. Uh, what else? Iron bars. Can you uncraft iron bars? No, you cannot. Let me go into survival real quick just to make sure because... Oh wait, I should probably get more than one iron bar just because it probably requires more than one because he crafts six into one. So let's try that. Two oh yeah, so yeah, you can. Two iron bars for one iron ingot. Uh, can... Oh, that should be uncraftable. Um... I think copper doors should be, you should be able to uncraft regular copper doors into copper ingots. Oh yeah, you can. That's good. Uh, what about copper bulbs? You cannot uncraft copper bulbs, so I think you should be able to uncraft them into like some copper ingots. Uh, so I think it's just like the copper bulb yeah, uh, I'll need to go into survival to check this, but I think the copper ball is all just like uh, copper and and a thing. Copper ball, copper ball. Yes, yeah, blaze rod. Oh, three copper blocks and a redstone dust for four copper bulbs. So if you so say you just like put four copper bulbs in like a in a two by two. Then you should get uh, three copper blocks out. Let's see, double check. Yeah, no, you don't get the three copper blocks out, so that should be something that should be added. Uh, can you craft uncraft blocks of quartz? Yep, that's good. So then they, that's good because then you can use them to basically just like store a lot of nether quartz and then uncraft them. Now lodestone, can I uncraft that? No, so the lodestone is like one of the items you should be able to uncraft because it is quite expensive. Look after. Look after. English does not make sense sometimes. So yeah, it uses a netherite ingot and eight chiseled stone. So I think you should be able to uncraft it to get the netherite ingot back out of it. Uh, you may just like need to craft it just like temporarily and then or you accidentally craft too many and you want to get the netherite ingots back out. Um, what else should be uncraftable? Uh, can you uncraft these two? Get nine gold ingots out of a golden apple, even though it makes, takes eight gold ingots, and you can't uncraft the enchanted apple. I think, I think the enchanted apple should to give you eight gold blocks, just as a reference to its original crafting recipe. Um, for those who played on, well, actually, if you played on console edition, uh, it was eight gold ingots for an enchanted golden apple and eight gold nuggets for an, a regular golden apple, which is, uh, 
which was really OP. Uh, what else? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really think there's anything else that should be uncraftable. Like maybe they should also like uh, expand into like add-ons, other add-ons, and to have like add -on, other add-ons items be uncraftable. So yeah, you can get your iron and get back out of your shield. That's cool. Uh, can you craft dyes back into their flower? No, you can't. Maybe yeah, that could be something. Like maybe you accidentally converted your last poppy into a die and you want more die, so you need more you need the poppy, so uh you'd want to like bone meal that poppy, you know that could be useful. Can you uncraft magma blocks into magma No, so mag so if I get uh mag mag ma Cream. So if I get magma cream here, you can craft magma cream into magma blocks like that, and you get six, and you get uh, one magma block for four cream. So if I do that, double check. Yeah, you don't. So you should be able to uncraft magma block in uh, magma blocks is something else you should be able to uncraft. I don't blame them for missing that one because that not a ton of people actually know you can craft magma blocks from magma cream. It is one of the more obscure uh, crafting recipes. Let me see about the campfire. So, right. So I think this should be changed. Instead of just giving you one coal, I think it should give you two or three charcoal. Because you use one charcoal in the crafting recipe, three sticks and three logs. So you could just say three of the, a couple of those logs got turned into charcoal. So I think the campfire should give a couple more charcoal, like two or three charcoal. You say that one of the charcoal was burnt up to cook the other three log to cook the three logs into charcoal. Can you uncraft the anvils? So you can get 31 ionigas from the anvil. You get 21 from the damage one, and you get 11 from that one. So, oh, yes, we did see uncraft. So, yeah, I think that's fair. Let me just double check real quick the with the regular anvil. So. And so if I get a regular anvil and I uncraft it, can I recraft it back into an anvil? Yes, you can. That's pretty cool. So you get 100% of the iron ingots back out, which is cool. Now, you could abuse this to, like, use the anvil a little bit be before it gets damaged. And before it gets damaged, you, um, craft it back into the ingots and then recraft it into an anvil. But I don't really think that's too much of a, uh, powerful thing. Like, that's, that's fine in my opinion, because you're not really going to be, it's not like you're duping anything or anything. You just re- and it, and it takes time, so you're just wasting a lot of time, basically. Doing that. Uh, can you? So you should be able to also uncraft saddles. Maybe that should be a, should only be a thing if you have um, essentials because essentials make saddles uncraftable. Uh, craftable, not uncraftable. You can craft saddles in, with essentials. So maybe if you have essentials active, you can uncraft saddles to get the materials back out. That would be cool. Uh, 
Uh, what else do we have? It should be uncraftable. Uh, what about the chiseled bookshelves? Can I uncraft them? Yeah, you get six planks out of it. Uh, anything else? Jukebox? Yeah, you can get the diamond out of a jukebox, that's good. In case you accidentally craft too many jukeboxes. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Um... Hmm, I think that's pretty much everything that I can think of that should be uncraftable, really. Like, I can't really think of anything else that I that say should be uncraftable. And now we're going into the add on stuff. So, yeah, pretty, yeah, that is, uh, so this is a pretty good add on. Um,. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, pretty cool, cool add-on. Uh, like I said, there are some, still some craft uh, stuff that should be uncraftable, but I think, yeah, it is pretty cool. Definitely worth picking up and adding that to your world, and it doesn't really clash with the alchemy station too much, because like I said, one, the is this is more of an early game thing that doesn't give you 100% of your output back, where this is a more of a mid game thing where it gives you 100% of your output back but uh, it's a little bit more fiddly uh, with like how you do that and but yeah uh, so yeah pretty cool uh, definitely good update but yeah I hope you guys all did enjoy this video I, I hope you all did find it informative and uh, at least I may be a little bit entertaining and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye bye